When communicating by email with anyone, work colleagues, family, friends, etc., always, always reread the email at least once before you send it. If it's particularly important or going to a supervisor or a large group of people, read it over several times, at least one of which is out loud. When you read your email out loud to yourself, you'll get a better sense of the tone of voice and more easily catch grammatical errors. Tweak the wording until it actually communicates in the clearest possible language and the least offensive language what you're trying to say. It's surprising how many people think that a terse email actually communicates their message. I've received hundreds of these kinds of emails that are terse to the point that you wonder what in the world are they trying to say. Usually the terse, abrupt email raises more questions than it answers, and it can even create questions and an unexpected level of anxiety. Think carefully about the, how the various recipients will interpret your choice of words and what attitude they may read into the way you've put the words together. Now there's no question that this process will take a little longer. That's okay. Slow down and take your time. It will result in better responses, better actions, better relationships, and it will avoid unexpected, potentially devastating relationship difficulties.